Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm actually in the classroom. Um, I've been in the classroom all week, basically preparing for whenever the students might come back, whenever that might be. Um, so yeah, I've started decorating and everything and I wanted to take you guys along and show you what I've done so far. Um, I haven't done much, but yeah, I mean, it's coming along. I've been having some difficulties hanging things in my classroom because um, it's really cold but it's also like really humid and what it's really is weird so like um, a lot of the posters or paper or the tape or adhesive it becomes wet and it doesn't stick on the wall but I've um, I've snuck and used a hot glue gun maybe once or twice so yeah so I still need to rearrange the desk so that they are six feet apart um, and I also need to finish this wall right here. Um, I was having, like I said, a lot of mishaps with this sign right here, the matter sign. I was trying to put the clock in the place of the O, but I could not get the clock to stick on for nothing. So um, one of my coworkers gave me a good idea to use a mirror, so I'm gonna do that instead. That way the mirror will be flat against the wall. Um, so yeah, I still need to sweep, I still need to clean and everything like that, but overall, this is what I have so far. Um, it took some effort, but I hung some um, Christmas lights and I'm super excited about that. Um, here's my data wall, I'm not done with it. I think this wall or this side will be um, student work. So yeah, that's all I have so far. I wanted to keep it kind of simple this year just because I didn't, I don't, I don't know how often we will be in the classroom, so yeah. Okay, I am sweating, I'm tired, I'm done with my room. So far I just got a sweep. Um, I kind of want a rug, but I know it'll be filthy by the end of this school year. Maybe it won't because not a lot of people will be walking on it, but I think my room looks pretty good. So I will give you guys a tour. I have one last class. Um, I have one last class for the day. And then um, I'll give you a tour really quickly. And then I am going to basically help my team or my team and I are going to work together to um, complete the sixth grade hallway. So yeah, stay tuned. Here's a quick look. Looks pretty good. I'm proud of it. Okay, so I'm finally done and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick preview. Keep in mind, I didn't wanna do too much because like I said, I'm not even sure if my kids will even see the classroom. Um, as of now, it is September 17th, so things are still up in the air, but nonetheless, if they do come to the classroom, I'll be ready and my classroom will be ready to welcome them. So, yeah. So right here is the back of my door when the students first Come in or I guess when my door is open they'll be able to see these things um, these are just honestly these are cards that I got from a boutique in Atlanta and I thought they were super cool the things they said on the front um, so yeah I decided to use them as decoration in my classroom um, and that's my dog um, I decided to utilize some paint swatches I guess that's what you call them and use them for a word wall so as a school year Go, uh, goes on I'll you know add more to this wall and cover up some of these um, spots where paint is missing here is my bulletin board so this material right here I got maybe maybe a couple of years ago and um, basically you can reuse it year after year and I believe you can even use it as a dry erase board kind of um, because you can just add water or use uh, like a wet cloth and erase um, dry erase marker but yeah so this is my bulletin board I'm not too happy about this blue tape I had to use um, I don't know I might end up changing that out with clear tape that actually works um, I also need to add a title to this side of my bulletin board um, basically these are just a couple of you know um, well-known writers of color and I thought 
it would be a good idea to include that in my classroom. Um, these posters I got from Amazon. Um, these textual evidence student starters I made myself. These party decor fan thingies, I got that from Amazon too. And I hung them up here as well from the ceiling. Um, this right here is gonna be a work in progress. So far I like it and basically it is a little mirror that is an O and it says, you matter. I really like that. I think I might add an exclamation point right here. I'm not sure. Um, right here, I have my data wall where I will display student data. Obviously, I will not show their names. Um, here, I'll have student work samples, anonymous student work samples. And I might put like rubrics on this side because this side is a little bare. So yeah, so I really like how this wall came out. I found this uh, faux wallpaper from Amazon and I just didn't, I didn't take off the back part so I didn't want it to stick on the wall forever. So I am able to take this off. All I did was um, tape it. I didn't take off the adhesive barrier, I guess that's what you call it. So yeah, this is from last year. I didn't take it down or anything. Um, this wall is very simple. Just a few um, anchor charts or posters that I've had for years. Um, my desk, not very cluttered yet. Super simple. My little bookshelf corner. Just, you know, simple. Yep. I need to do something with this level of the shelf. I'll figure it out. But like I said, I don't want to add too much. I don't want it to be too cluttered. Yeah. I got these leaves from Amazon as well this clock I also got from Amazon I love the color of it um, this banner as well and I'm displaying a mask hopefully encouraging everyone to bring their mask every single day so so that is all I have um, as the school year progresses I'm sure that I will definitely add more and I'm pretty happy with my classroom so yeah make sure you subscribe